Hello, good evening. How are you? Hey, Adrián Erasmo. Adriana Beatriz. Present. Adriana. Sí. Ok. Ana Mercedes. Present. Ok. Claribel Esmeralda. Daniel Oswaldo. Dora Estefan. Present. Ok. Dora Estefani. Present. Ok. Eloisa Vigail. Gloria Elizabeth. Present. Ok. Gloria Elizabeth Orellana, yes. Henry Oswaldo. Present. Ok. Jacqueline Beatriz. Present. Excelente. Jonathan Humberto. Present. Great. Jose Ángel Hernández. Present. Ok. Catherine Stephanie. Kimberly Natalie. Present. Present. Ok. Present, teacher. Ok. Lorena Araceli. Present. Excelente. Lourdes Paola. No. Mario Antonio. Present. Ok. Marvin Alberto. Present. Excelente. Romeo Antonio. Present. Excelente. Ruth del Carmen. Present. Ok. Verónica Elizabeth. No. Víctor Manuel. Present. Ok. And Xiomara Judith. Present. Ok. No se me quedó nadie. No. Means. Yes. Yo no escuché que me mencionara, no sé si ya me había dicho. Um, no, quiero ver. Catherine. Avilés. ¿Cuál es su otro nombre? Yamilet. Dice que no la tengo. La voy a reportar para que okay. la agreguen. Y el día de ayer sí le pasé lista. ¿Verdad que sí? Fíjese que no me acuerdo, pero al final este creo que ya no le dije nada por cuestión del tiempo. Sí te mencionó. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí. Pero la veo. Ajá. Vaya, la voy a reportar. Gracias. ¿Me dijo su segundo nombre? 
Catherine Yamileta Vile García. Ahorita no sé qué tiene que no le funciona el micrófono. Ok, thank you. Vale. Yo la agrego. Y ayer estuvo también, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Ok, that's it. Nadie más que se me haya quedado por ahí. Ok, so yesterday we start talking about the simple present tense. Do you remember when we are going to use it? ¿Cuándo lo vamos a utilizar? Can you tell me? What do you remember about the simple present? Sí, lo vimos. Dijo que para cosas que no van a cambiar. Eh, yes, yes, excellent. What else? Era tres cosas. Esa sería una. Un changing situations. Number two. Um, things. Uh, algo que está sucediendo en el momento. Mm. No. Algo que estamos realizando, que realizamos frecuentemente. Yes, eso sí. When we do actions or things that we do regularly. Algo que hacemos regularmente o frecuentemente. Yes, que sería como los hábitos, como los hábitos. Okay? I take a bath every day. Okay? ¿Nos falta una? Facts. Um, yes. Event. Facts. Yep. Correct. Okay. The facts, remember, I, are things that have a proof that they are true. Y como tienen una prueba, they are not going to change. Okay. Because there is a scientific um, proof or explanation of why this or those uh, is, uh, thing is happening. Okay, entonces serían facts. Okay, great. Esas tres cosas vamos a utilizar con ellas when you identify one of them, you are going to use simple present. Y ahora, con, ¿cómo iba la estructura del simple present? Yes. Eh, sujeto, verbo y complemento. Complemento. Acción. Y, ajá. O eh, lugar o place. Yes. A subject, verb, complement. Y ahí en el complement puede variar un poco, ¿verdad? Entonces... Vimos algunos ejemplos en For Today. Ok, here is the manual. Entonces, aquí vimos cómo se... cómo, cómo, cómo lo íbamos a, a, a escribir. Ok, the grammar. Subject, verb, complement. Y también para su forma negativa dijimos que íbamos a incluir el do not or don't or does not, doesn't. Ok, eso sería para la negative form. Y ahora vamos a, well, let's do the exercises on the platform. Ya todos pudieron ingresar a la plataforma y ya empezaron a trabajar en ella. Yes. Yes. Mm. Ok. Yes. Mm. Espérenme que si no. 
Me van a salir las respuestas de un solo. Wait. You need to think about it. Okay, on the first exercise. Ok, aquí está entonces cuando lo vamos a utilizar de grammar or the structure y también dijimos que habían some signal words como que nos van a marcar el que estamos hablando de un tiempo presente. Ok, a simple present. And sometimes eh, Sometimes when we use or when we write or when we say a sentence in third person singular, como sería he, she, and it, and we have to modify or add a suffix to the verb. Tenemos que cambiarlo agregando un sufijo que sería the s. Que esta la vamos a agregar en el verbo. Entonces, work nos quedaría works. It, it's. Play, plays. Swim, swims. Write, writes. Que okay, esa sería como a general rule. Lo que comúnmente se haría. Pero we have some exceptions. Que okay, for example, when, if the verb is ends. In Y, ok, cuando termina en Y, como está D. Y you have to change the I, the Y for an I. Ok, de Y nos pasaría a I. From Y to I. And then you can add I S, la S. Entonces, study, studies. Cry, cries, try, tries, spy, spies, fly, flies. And for the rest of the verbs, que serían con la terminación O, ch, ch, x, or S, and you are going to add E, S. Que go, goes, wash, washes, watch, watches, mix, mix, kiss, Yes. Esta parte is clear. Mm. Yes. I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, esos verbos regulares se van a aplicar para todo. Irregulares. Um. Eh... ¿Cómo así para todo? O sea, para la primera persona, segunda persona, dos personas. No, solamente para la tercera persona del singular, que sería okay. he, she, and it. Ok. Gracias. Okay. Muy bien. Hicimos ejemplos ayer, ¿verdad? ¿De oraciones? Sí. Ok. Hicimos positive and negative statements. Hicimos de positivas y negativas o solo de positivas. De los dos. Ok. Excellent. So, questions about how we are going to add the suffix. Si no, let's do some exercises. Okay, we're good with that. Okay, vamos a ver. Yo le voy a ir diciendo el verb y usted tiene que escribirlo en el chat ya con la modificación de acuerdo a las que acabamos de ver. 
Okay, so listen carefully and you're going to type the verb modifying. Okay, ya modificado. Vamos con... Vaya, empecemos con los más fáciles. Do. Do. I think it's easy. Okay, empieza a escribir. And send it. Okay. Yes. Correct. Next. Vamos con el siguiente. Go. Okay. Great. Fix. Fix. Do you need a spell? The, the letter, no? Fix, okay, fix, great. Mm, brush, when you brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. Brushes, brushes. Okay, yes. Solo alguien que se le fue por ahí una o oh, demás. Ok, next. Mm. Travel. Okay, muy bien. Okay, now we are going to move to sentences. Vaya, no, vamos a dejar las palabras because they are too easy for you. And we are going to change the sentence. I'm going to say the sentence in one way, in one way and you have to make uh, your own sentence but making the change. Okay, for example, if I can say, I mm, teach English every day. Okay, y luego la voy a cambiar utilizando uno de los pronombres de tercera persona del singular para poder cambiar el verbo. Okay, uh, she teaches English every day. Entonces, yo le voy a dar la oración de utilizando cualquiera de los otros pronombres y usted tiene que hacerme la misma oración, pero utilizando eh, third person singular. Ok, ready? Yes, it's clear. I hope so. Muy bien, vamos con la primera. We are going to start with José Ángel. I watch a movie with my family every Friday. Jose Angel. But orally, no escrita, orally. <laughs> Open your microphone. Uh, she watches uh, a movie with her family uh, every Friday. Yes. Every Friday. Yes. Okay. Muy bien. Vamos con el siguiente. Next. Okay. Mm. The boys, a ah, esto sería para Jacqueline. The boys catch butterflies with nets. Eh, ¿Me puede repetir, por favor? The boys 
catch butterflies with nets. Yes. De plural la vamos a pasar a singular. ¿Alguien que le ayude? Nada. Ok. Catches. The boy, que sería en singular. The boy catches butterflies. Ok. He with... catches butterfly with nets yes vaya el último well two more Nick and Sean wash their clothes together cualquiera volunteer Nick and Sean Watch, wash their clothes together. Mm -hmm. Everything washes the clothes alone. Mm -hmm. Again, he washes. Mm -hmm. Yes. He watches yes. the clothes together. We, podría ser, ajá. Uh -huh. eh, he washes the clothes with his brother, for example. Or eh, he watches his clothes uh, with. Yes, sí, así tendría que ser. Ok, y la última, the girls, do, do they, the girls do their homework before bed. The girls do their homework before bed. She mm -hmm. does her homework every day. Okay. Okay, correct. Muy bien. How do you feel with, with the exercises and with the example? Do you think it's clear? Well, I hope so. Questions? Podría compartirnos las redes para Okay. Sí. Yes, I can send to you tomorrow on on the chat. Se las puedo compartir el día de mañana, okay? Because I have to take the screenshot. Le voy a mandar el, un link if you want to read more about this tense. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Here are more information. Okay, more information. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, the contractions. Ay, hagamos, luego tenemos este ejercicio que sería el primer ejercicio on the platform. Y luego pasaríamos a, with the irregular verbs.
Ok, 10, Juan. Me. Yes. A mí no me sale el segundo módulo tampoco. Otra cosa que reportar. Ah, entonces, de seguro no está. Eh, no, no la han agregado aquí. Okay. Me Yo, voy aquí. Uh -huh. Yo voy a reportar. Para que la agreguen. Para que la agreguen al grupo. Gracias. Ok. Muy bien, entonces, my family and I live or lives? Live. Live in the suburbs. Lives. Mm, live because it's plural. Recuerden que vamos a utilizar the is cuando sea third person singular. My wife and I. Ajá. Uh -huh. Work. 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 Without the S. Work near here. So we. Works. Work. Works. Mm. Works or work? We... Works. Works. Okay. It's a plural. Work. Walk. So we walk to, to work. Porque es un plural. Or that Emily. Work. Mm -hmm. Work. Work. Works. Works. Muy bien. Works. Down. Works. Drives. 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 So she drives to work. And or son. Don't. 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 Seguro. Das. Das. Sent. Porque si, si lo sustituimos sería he. He, mm -hmm. right. 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 With is correct. He rides. Okay. Conversation two. Live. Lives. Live. 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 Okay, my parents live in the city. My mother. Takes. Takes. Okay. Takes. My father is retired, so he doesn't. Doesn't. No. Mm -hmm. He also uses. 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 Yes. And the last one. Don't. So they don't. 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 don't because it's plural. Don't. Okay, great. ¿Y con esta no tuvieron problema? So no. we, can, we can continue. Yeah. We can move on. Vamos with this part. He complete and select the correct verb form. My parents have, have a house in the suburbs. Okay, my dad go go or goes go go I go so go. Yes. My parents are very busy, so I do. Do, it. do. 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 My brother doesn't like with, with, with us. With us. Mm -hmm. My 
brother doesn't live with us. He has, has. has an apartment in the city. Okay, he goes to school all day. And he does, does, does. does his homework at night. Conversation three. I have have, have, have okay. a new friend. His name is Jason. We go to, go to the same school. And sometimes we do 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 do, do our homework together. Okay, this will be exercise two. Okay, ya habíamos visto las the statements y ahora vamos a ver the questions. Ya vimos the replies. Okay. Veamos la estructura de las preguntas, the questions. Y vamos a invertir el orden en algunos de los componentes. Specifically with the verb. Okay, vamos a in, eh, iniciábamos con subject, luego con verb and the complement. Okay, pero eh, para las preguntas Okay, we can divide the questions into a yes no question, preguntas de sí o no, o preguntas cerradas, and double H word questions, o preguntas abiertas. Y para, para las preguntas, we need to add an auxiliary. Okay, we have to add do or does. Para el caso de las tercera persona del singular. He, she, or it. Does, Peter, o sea, he, play football. Okay. Yes, he does. Y si se fijan acá, el verbo ya aquí ya no va a ser necesario, aunque esté en tercera persona, que agreguemos es, y es, or I, y es. It's not necessary. Because we have the auxiliary. Okay, the auxiliary do the work. Okay, por decirlo así. Entonces, al poner el auxiliar, mm -hmm. we don't need to change the verb. Yes? Do you? Yes. yes. Okay. Y luego mm -hmm. para la... Yes? Questions? Ah, oh, ahí le está dando el... What do you play? Wait. Okay, y para el caso de las double H uh, questions, sigue la misma estructura. Do, subject, verb, complement. Pero antes de toda la estructura, vamos a utilizar the question word. Okay, what do you Play on your computer. Okay, when does your mother go to work? Okay, seguimos siempre la same structure. But uh, we are going to add the double H word at the beginning. At the beginning of the question. Okay. Yes. 
con una pregunta cerrada, siempre se van a responder cuando sea solamente sin WH question. O sea, que comiencen con do o does. Siempre van a ser, digamos, eh, yes, I do o no, I don't. Yes, correcto. Sí, siempre. Si sí, son cerradas. Y si vamos a utilizar una doble word ahí, it could be anything because the objective, the objective or use or the goal of use a double H word is to ask information. So you need to, to know more about, about some specific thing. Entonces, yes, what, when, where, who, okay, why. So you need an explanation or you need more information, more detail. Y para las yes no questions, en las respuestas cortas, siempre vamos a utilizar el mismo sujeto que se utilizó en la pregunta. Obviously, only in you, vamos a tener que cambiar por I, ¿verdad? No vamos a, a dejar el mismo. Hey, do you read books? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Okay? Yes? Are you ready for the example? Mm, yes, teacher. We are ready. Okay, give me two questions. One just no question and one double H question, double H word question. Mm. Mm. Does she wake up early? Does she wake up early? Okay. Yes. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you do you work on the weekend? Do you work on weekend? Okay. Mm. What do you have? What? Do you have? What what do you what do you have? have. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. What do you have? What, ahí nos faltaría agregar como un poquito más de complemento. What do you have? O oh, específicamente qué quiere preguntar. Víctor. Como digamos qué tiene la persona, cómo se siente más o menos, algo así. Ok. Ok, yes. Yes, that's correct. What do you have? Solo que ahí necesitaría un poquito de contexto si, digamos, en dado caso, la va a realizar. Okay, because it's, it's too general. By in context, it probably works. Okay, los demás, sus examples. Uh, do you like ice cream? Do you like, okay, do you like ice cream? And the other question, uh, what flavor do you like? Okay, it's similar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you eat uh, uh, breakfast? What? Bueno. What do you eat at breakfast? Ah, what do you eat for breakfast? What do you eat for breakfast? Okay, yes. 
Muy bien, de esta parte. Questions. What do you think? It's okay, it's clear. Siente que lo, ya, ya lo domina, lo entiende. Lo de los sujetos, cuáles vamos a modificar, cuáles no. La, 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 la. Yes. Mm. I'm going to send you a link okay, in which you, you will have more information if you want to read additional information. I have to have mandado, correct? Yes. So, well. Entonces, let's continue with the next activity on the platform. Teníamos las preguntas. We have to order. We have to order the questions. Okay, so tell me how we are going to start this question. Uh -huh. Tell me. Ahí tenemos las palabras, pero están en desorden. What time do you... Uh -huh. Eat lunch? Okay. What time do you eat lunch? Así. Yes. Okay. Does does this class? class. This class. Mm -hmm. class. Start. 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 Y aquí tienen que tener cuidado con the apostrophe. Does this class start at eight o'clock? Uh -huh. In number four. When do you study English? When do you study English? When do you, when do you study English? In number five. Yes. Do you and your friends play sport on weekends? Yeah, man. You and your friends play sport on weekends. Um, on weekends.
。はい。Do you, you. and your y sería, nos quedaría la última de la última Number de activities. Uh -huh. Uy, ¿cómo le va? Who wants to read? No, nobody. Democráticamente, entonces. Víctor Manuel, could you help me to read, please? No sé cómo se va. Brittany Davis, Brittany Davis College Student. Quiere que lo lea. Uh -huh. oh, ok. Um, What's your schedule? Schedule. 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 Well, what's your schedule like? Okay. And another volunteer? My classes start at 8 a.m. So I grab at 7 and take the bus to school. When do, do your classes do your end? Classes? Schedule. Schedule. Schedule, uh-huh. Okay, continue. They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. Okay. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until, min until midnight. Okay, until midnight. Muy bien. Now, um, if she goes to class, ah, tenemos que ordenar. She gets up. Okay, we are talking about habits. She takes the bus, she goes to class, she works, she studies, okay? And only that. For the next, Joshua Barnes. I should have Great. Uh-huh. He has a break. He starts work, he eats dinner, he gets up, he goes for a run. Do you need to read or do you think you can do it without reading? Tell me. Yes? No? Are you reading?
If you say, well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? Mm -hmm. I work at home. I start work at eight, around one. I take a lunch break. <clears throat> How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Excellent. Muy bien, entonces, what would be the order? Vamos a ordenar. First, first question is three. He eats oh. dinner. Mm -hmm. Esa, esa sería la primera. No. He gets up. Es la primera. Ok. He gets up. He then. He goes for a run. Two. Ok. Es que encontraba dónde se bajaba el polín. Pensé que aquí en las teclas funcionaba. ¿Which one? Sí, me, esta después me fijé. Hello. Yes. I have mixed. Mixed voices. Oh, okay. Repeat, please. He gets up, number one. Number two? Goes for a run. Goes for a run. Okay. Number three? Breakfast. He has a breakfast. He has a breakfast. Number four? four. Yes. Work. La chamba. Okay. And dinner. 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 He eats dinner. Okay, a quickly reading of this. It will be the last one. Who wants to read? Kimberly. Sorry, teacher, I don't understand. Okay. Um, Marvin. Claribel. A volunteer. Teacher, is there in the de, sorry, es para leer eh, la imagen. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, what's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. o'clock. And I play union. Until? Until 3 a.m. So, the, what do you do after work? I have dinner and then I take a taxi and home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at uh, five mm -hmm. in the morning. Yes. Okay, so the last number one.
goes home. He goes home. Number two. No, she goes to work. Sería number two or one? One. Okay, number two. The finish was. She finished work. Okay, number she three. Has, she has dinner. Okay, she has dinner. Number four. She goes home. Mm -hmm. Okay. And five, obviously. She goes to the bed. Yes. Go to bed. And that's it. Okay, con eso estaríamos entonces ya completando the first section. Tomorrow we are going to start with section two. And do you need help? If do you need help with something, we can do it at the beginning of the class. Okay, I don't know if it is clear this topic or the topics for this unit. Very good. Very clear. Yes. No questions? Okay. No. No. All right. So only let me check the attendance again if some of you have came and then we can go. Garibel, Esmeralda. Presente. Eloisa, Abigail. No. Lourdes, Paola. No. And Verónica Elizabeth. Y encontraste el, el, el micrófono. Yes, ahí está Verónica, right? Muy bien, remember to say present because when I see the, the, the attendance list, I can see all the, all the videos. Okay, it's easier if you say present. Like at school, Veronica Elizabeth. Oops, yes, right. Okay, solamente quedamos entonces pendiente con Eloisa. All right, and Lourdes Paola. Okay. Y con el caso de Catherine, que lo voy a reportar. And I will let you know tomorrow, okay? So I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to work in section one and finish. Termine la sección uno, ya hicimos todos los ejercicios. So you already have, have know how to do it. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.